My name is Court Watson. Uh, I'm the set and costume designer for this season's new production of Siegfried, and this is my sixth production with Virginia Opera. There are eight newly built costumes in the show. The other half are a mix of bought pieces and built pieces that we've collaged together. The largest costume in the show is our new costume for Erda. Her skirt is so big, she wouldn't be able to walk in it even if we wanted her to. The skirt measures about 10 feet in diameter and is constructed from six yards of textured vinyl, 56 yards of rope, 64 feet of pipe insulation, 30 feet of pool noodles, and 720 holiday lights. Nothing in the show is built in any other costume shop. Everything is built here in Norfolk. I started working on the costume sketches back in January. From the beginning of construction until opening night, it will have taken about eight weeks for the costume shop staff here to build all of these pieces. The costume shop staff is made up of six people. In the costumes for the show, we reference a lot of fashion and science fiction concepts in a, in a new and fresh way. 19th century coal miners, Alexander McQueen, James Dean or Marlon Brando. There are Star Wars references. Some of the people in the audience know this story backwards and forwards. They love it. They've seen 10 productions of it. Half of the audience has never seen an opera before at all. So to make the storytelling as clear as possible for everyone in the audience, we've got to make really bold, strong choices to help everybody identify who is who, which side of good or evil are they on, and we do that in a really clear way so that even people sitting in the back row of the balcony will understand these ideas really clearly. Last year we didn't see Votan looking weak or sort of at the end of his life cycle. Now he's rusted. Votan has been wandering the earth for the last 18 years, so imagine a cyborg that's been left out in the rain and the weather. He's losing his power. So we've reflected that in a, a duplicate of the costume that he wore last year, but instead of it being bold and fresh and clean, now it's rusted and aged and distressed. I graduated from Western Branch High School. I also went to the Governor's School for the Arts down on Granby Street. And I saw my first opera ever at the Harrison Opera House in 1997. Uh, it was a new production of Elysier d'Amour. So my, my love of the art form that is opera really started in this building and for me to be back here designing again feels really like a full circle moment for me.